Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and the DJI Mini 2 firmware upgrade of 1.02 gave us a brand new, more stable aircraft orientation display. And uh, very, it's very nice, except there's one issue people have been having, and that's that little blue arrow that uh, shows the direction that the controller is facing. So in this video, I'm going to show my attempts to figure out how to make it work. All right, well, I had several failures in trying to figure it out, and then I got to thinking of back, back to the old um, Mavic Mini, where we had compass issues that we need to uh, correct in our, our phone or tablet. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try the same thing I tried back then to solve that issue. And that, that uh, display was never very stable and they put it on when they first released the Mini 2. But uh, now they've given us a much more stable display. And so we're gonna go fly and uh, in this, in this uh, attempt here, what I did was I uh, did the same thing I did back with the Mavic Mini. I got in a big open area as much as open as I could get to easily. And that was the uh, the parking lot at my son's uh, uh, place, little the miniature farm that we have here. <clears throat> and in, uh, instead of taking off next to the building, the metal building, which I did in the first three attempts, I stood out in the middle of the, of the parking area where there's the least amount of magnetic inter interference from the metal building and other other objects and um, I also p uh, made a comp as you could see at the beginning I uh, calibrated the compass on my phone by the way I had to I downloaded that app and uh, and then I left it running while I was uh, making this video and unfortunately uh, now there I am standing out in the open away from a lot of the metal I had been standing by. Because when I was taking off in those first attempts, I was standing, as you will see as I come around here, I was standing kind of on the corner of that metal building right there by that little uh, bush that my wife has in that piece of pottery. So <clears throat> um, uh, as we come around here, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take off. And you can see the little blue, the blue circle with the with the white outline. Uh, supposedly, the arrow is pointing towards the drone. Now, my problem here in Arizona with the bright sun and my old eyes, I actually had a hard time seeing that little blue arrow. But if you look down in the lower corner there, you can see it popping out just a little bit above the home point uh, indication down there. And uh, I couldn't see the drone and I had a hard time seeing that little arrow. Uh, but at that point in time, as it was taking off, I, I was, uh, it, the arrow seemed to be pointing towards the drone. And so that tells, it's designed so that it tells you if you're aimed towards the drone so you get the best uh, antenna connection. And there, as you can see, I decided I'm going to turn all the way around and you can see the little blue arrow uh, swiveling around. It shows which way I'm pointing, which uh, just uh, that would be a crazy thing to do if you're out flying. But uh, that's what I did. And then <laughs> you can see I didn't get all the way turned around because I didn't really know where the drone was. And then I had a really hard time seeing that that blue dot. It would be nice if DJI would make it just like they did the map so that if you tap on the orientation display, it gets about twice as large. Or um, 
that can maybe put a little sharper point on that on that indicator but as you can see I'm making I'm turning north here and uh, the uh, the the indicator stayed the same I, I was still standing the same the same way and I, I really had a hard time uh, seeing that so I you know I could have aimed it better at the drone if I could have seen it better but uh, I had it in the general direction and that that was as good as I could do so now I'm flying north and as I fly north um, uh, I stop and now I'm going to turn and uh, fly back towards towards my direction and by the way that little arrow at the very bottom of the of the map that's what you tap on to get to the orientation display uh, it took me a while to figure that out too because I tried tapping somebody said to tap on that little arrow and I couldn't get it to work and I couldn't get it to work and finally I put some of my wife's hand lotion on so that my fingertips weren't as dry as bone and I had better capacitive uh, contact with the with the surface of the of the phone and then I actually was able to bring it up and another thing that worked good is I just I have a uh, oily nose <laughs> so I just rub my finger on the side of my oily nose so <clears throat> uh, there I'm now I'm coming back I'm headed west again <clears throat> and uh, you kind of got to get used to that display because uh, if north is to the right and I'm heading straight ahead well then I'm heading west and and uh, that as I was coming the other way it, it worked like that so <clears throat> uh, now I'm headed back to my location and I'm gonna uh, come up to this road I like to fly over roads and uh, not over people's houses and I'm still not aware of exactly where the the drone is <clears throat> and even even looking at the picture there it doesn't help me <laughs> to to see the location of the drone and now I'm turning around again just uh, as you can see there I'm at the home at the home point and just swiveling around so I could see where the antenna, uh, where the uh, little blue arrow was. And so uh, it works. Uh, and as soon as uh, I get uh, get figured out where the drone is, well, then I'll start aiming at the drone, which sounds kind of crazy, but that's how it was because the sun, the sun is so bright. I will be so glad when DJI makes it so that the smart controller uh, is compatible with the with the Mini 2. So <clears throat> now I'm coming back, and you can see me standing down there in the lot, and uh, I'm uh, bringing it back. And somewhere around in here, I decide, oh, there it is. I can see it, or I can hear it, and so then I swivel towards towards the drone itself. And I'm bringing it down to a lower, lower altitude. And uh, then I could look up and I could see it. So then I'm turning towards it now, as you can see by the little blue arrow. By the way, if you're having a hard time, the best way to view this is with a uh, full screen on a regular computer rather than uh, <laughs> just on an on a, a, a iPhone or something like that. And by the way, we have some planes flying over. You might be able to hear that in the background. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this thing in. And you, as I bring it in, you'll be able to see uh, how that little blue arrow seems to be very much more accurate if I, put a, if I use my compass on my phone and if I stand out in an open area rather than next to a bunch of metal interference. <clears throat> and uh, as the drone comes down, uh, you can see that I'm seeing it better now and I'm aiming right at it and so uh, you know <laughs> I the, my only excuse is is maybe I'm just getting too old for this hobby but uh, now the the drone is going to turn around and as you can see it swivels so now north is to its right and I'm uh, almost straight ahead and here it comes in so the little blue pointer it would be nice if DJI could make it longer so I could see it easier or make it so when we tap on the display uh, it gets like twice as large so uh, as it comes in you can see uh, it's pointing at me I'm pointing at it and uh, it seems to be working like it's supposed to 
So, uh, as I come into land, I just want to tell you I thank you for watching my videos and uh, try this out. Get a compass, uh, dis dis uh, compass app for your phone and give it a try and hopefully it will work much better for you. So, in the meantime, I want to thank you for watching and God bless. Oh, there I am going around again just so you can see the uh, how the arrow how the arrow works when it's working like it's supposed to so anyway thank you for watching my videos and god bless <laughs>